Oh, Darby Allen with his uh, Kirby mink coat on. Well, there you go. Yeah, Darby making it play. Moxley. That's all that needs to be said, right? I, I, I agree. And Darby, he's looking. Yeah, he's not looking at the options for him. He is looking. That back Come. corner of the arena. That Here comes the Moxley. John Moxley emerges. Yeah, I've been looking for you. Dope. Marina Shafir. You don't know me! But I don't know what you think you saw. I don't know what you heard. But nothing has changed between me and you. What you mean? Nothing at all. What you mean? You That's don't enough, know. John. That's enough. There's a lot I want to talk to you about. Okay. We don't act like superstars. We don't live in a fantasy world. We came from nothing. And we'll stop at nothing to make sure we don't ever go back to that. I was a homeless dishwasher. Had nothing in the world, no confidence whatsoever. Everything I owned, I could fit in the trunk of my car. And I don't take any of this for granted. That's why I wrestle the way I do. Everybody always says, Darby, slow down. You're not going to be able to wrestle when you're 40. I don't take any of this for granted. AEW gave me everything. Anybody the story, but I want to tell you the story. And the whole world with this microphone. My first year in wrestling, I looked for a hero, somebody I can inspire to be like one day. And every time I thought I found that person, they just showed me how fake they were. We're talking wow. about people that I thought were killers. Take no crap from anybody, but those people showed this young wrestler that your dignity could be bought. You could sell your soul for a dollar. But not you, John. You didn't change for anybody. And that's what I knew I wanted to be just like you. My hero. To this day, you will wrestle on the independence in a high school gym because you love this industry. This isn't about ego. This isn't about the money. You love this industry. Where did we first meet, John? It wasn't AEW. It was in a high school gym on the independence. And I remember I was so nervous that day. I was so nervous. I could wrestle my hero. Look John at Marina. Oh my gosh. All I hear is. I lost that match. <laughs> but what I gained what was the confidence that I belonged in the ring with someone like you. Look at John. Like, are you done, dude? There's not a lot of Get off my nuts. life you can consider family. And I think when you find someone that you can consider family, you hold on to them. You trust them until the very end. But what did you do to Brian? I would never do that to somebody like I consider family like Sting. So right there, I knew I wanted to be nothing like you anymore. So what do you want, John? Brooke and Marina. What are you calling me out? What do you want? My man. I'm going to cut right to the chase. You have a world title shot in the bank. That was supposed to happen at Grand Slam on September 25th. In New York City, that's not going to happen now. The world champion is indisposed. But it's a good wow. thing. It's a blessing in disguise, Darby. You are not ready. What? You are not ready to be a world champion. You He's been here how many years? Ago. Since day you one? Ready two years ago. You're not ready today. I don't have time to explain. But I'm going to need you to hand over that title shot to me. Man, you must be smoking crack. You got me all jacked up. Look at Darby. You must be crazy. Were you stupid? You didn't hear anything I just said? Were you dropped on your head? You been drinking again? Oh! You kind of sound Ooh. like everybody that you hate. You kind of sound like everybody you hate in the back. Self-entitled. You didn't earn this, John. Oh. I earned this. And I'm not just going to give it to you. <laughs> I'm not just going to give it to you. So bad. Do something about it. Ooh. Look at Marina. You crazy? You want this beat down? I'll beat him, Daddy. You want me to hurt? Oh, that's something. Oh, I shouldn't have did that. Sorry, my man. You don't want none of this, boy. I learn it. Me and you, New York City Grand Slam, September 25th. No, old boy. World title shot on the line. I will teach you another lesson. Once again, I will show you exactly where you stand on the food chain. It will always be very far, far below me. You will never be AEW World Champion, Darby Allen. I know that. I've always known that. I believe.
believe in you. I love you. I'm the one guy around here who's always had your back, and I don't like having to say that to you. I don't have time to explain everything to you right now. Trust me when I tell you, because I've never lied to you. You have no idea what's going on. That title shot is going to be mine. This time, I'm going to teach you that lesson the hard way. Long and hard way. Grand slam. <laughs> Let me chill. I accept. And I don't know what you're trying to do around here, but if you want to burn AEW to the ground, don't be surprised when I pull you into the fire. Oh, that's a bar. That's a bar. That is a bar. That was a bar. He bowed. All right, Darby, Darby and John Moxley are most likely going to be a no holds barred match or a street fight. We all know it's going to be a stipulation added.